Hello, welcome to Freenard Farms. This is Trifo Prasso, and we are coming to learn about how to cater for your cocoa seedlings and to get the best out of it. I have with me Hakim. You might have watched his video in the last video I posted. Hakim is going to tell us more about the best way to keep your seedlings, and he is actually the foreman here. So let's meet Hakim and discuss more about how best to get our seedlings. So guys, this is Hakim. He is a foreman over here. He's going to educate us about practices that one has to do to get the seedlings in the best quality as much as possible. So Mr. Hakim, what must one do when doing this cocoa seedlings? Okay, thank you. See, first of all, you need to get your bags you put in the soil, that is, you fill it with the soil. Okay. And after you are done with the filling of the bags, you get yourself cocoa seeds, that is cocoa beans. Okay. You get a healthy pot and you remove the seeds. You do pre germination, that is, you spread it on the floor. Okay. And then you sprinkle some small amount of soil onto the spreaded um, seeds. So that within three or four days, the cocoa will start germinating. Okay. That they will start shooting. Okay. So as soon as you see the um, root appearing, that is, you have to start seeding your bags. Okay. Yes, you have to start seeding your bags. And after seeding them, within two, three days, four days, you see that because you did pre germ, that is, pre germination that you carried out, yeah. it will help the cocoa seedlings or it will help the seed to appear very fast okay. that it will germinate very early okay to the extent that why would even wonder ah why just cocoa you see that within four or five days they have started germinating. shooting or germinating mm. then because of the process you carried out that is why the cocoa has started germinating at early stage okay do you have any specific soil that you use to do it so that we, we get the best out of the seeds okay thank you here you see honestly the best way for um cocoa seedling reason is we call something black soil okay but this black soil there are some content in it which is not good for the cocoa okay so sometimes you need to fumigate the soil before mm -hmm. you put in the seeds so that if there is any insect which can disturb or uh, die the seed, mm. you first of all kill it before you you start seeding the cocoa. Okay. For this one, we use um, normal soil. You could see um, the soil that I used for building or molding blocks, and then you mix it with some sawdust. Okay. Uh -huh. And that one will help it to germinate very faster. But if you spread it on the floor, that way you can sprinkle any type of soil onto the seed okay. for it to shoot very faster. Okay. So after it has germinated in the bags, what other things do you do to help it grow? Thank you. After the germination, we call something watering. Uh -huh. See, as soon as you seed the cocoa, the next day you have to start watering. And okay. even before... Um, seeding the cocoa you have to water the empty bags before okay. you start putting the cocoa beans in the bags okay uh -huh. and honestly for the cocoa to germinate very faster at this stage all depends on the watering that you do okay because you can see if you grow any crop or vegetable fruits in the rainy season and if you grow vegetables at um where the sun is scorching very highly yeah. you see there will be difference yeah. in these two things that you have carried out yeah. you see that the one in the rain season will grow faster yeah but the one in the um dry season will, will be something yeah yeah it will not grow very well so what train apart from what train what else do you do see apart from the water train um as soon as the cocoa start giving you leaves up to um one month some um, two weeks you can apply any liquid foliar. What is foliar? That is fertilizer. Okay. You, you can have your sidaku and there are some many more. But the prescribed one for you to get the best out of these cocoa seedlings is um, the sidaku. 
Okay. Yes, that could liquid fertilizer. Okay. That one is very, very good. If okay. you apply within two weeks, three weeks, the cocoa will grow very faster. To the extent that some people will even say, ah, what do you do before the cocoa is growing very fast mm. like it? Then because of the application of the sedaco, you, you use that is why. Okay. So you said you get your cocoa pots and then you get the cocoa beans from it. Is it any cocoa pot that you use? So you have specific places that you get your cocoa pots from. Thank you. Here, yeah, um, normally for this project, um, you see it is very big. Okay. So we being the company, we have to go to Cocoa House. Mm. That is Cocoa Board. In Accra? We, no, you can go to Go, so you can go to um, Asif Kusu. Okay. Like, what? Yes, cocoa any house. Cocoa House. Yes, okay. Cocoa Board will give you. Then you use it. But if you're a farmer and you want to grow it individually, then you look for a hybrid Cocoa. Okay. That one, you do not um, harvest it from the top. Okay. You can harvest it from the stem up to um the down of okay. the cocoa tree but if you have the top one that one will not grow healthy mm -hmm. uh -huh. because that one will not be strong okay so unless you have it from the stem or the down bottom okay. of the cocoa okay then you use it so when you plant the seedlings like this when will it be ready to be transferred to the main field okay it depends for this one the project is very big mm. and you could see we started some before others yeah so um the first one that we started i think we have to distribute that one before the others okay but sometimes the period is between two to five months okay but it depends on how the farmers will be ready for the distribution I am not talking about the project. I'm talking about in general. If somebody has a seedling nursery like this and wants to plant on his cocoa farm, the time that would be good enough for the person to plant it. Like how many months should the, the seedlings be in the nursery like this before uh, being transferred to the oh, That one, eight, two months. If only the farmer was able to get time, attend to the seedlings very well, two months is okay. Okay. For two months, the roots that is um the top roots is not all that far gone into the soil. Okay. So you can easily transfer it from the side to the field. Okay. For it to continue surviving over there. But if it goes beyond the two months, the more the top root enters the soil, mm -hmm. the um, probability that if you remove it or if you want to transfer it to the field, the cocoa will get damaged. It's very high okay because if the tap root enters deeply it is very difficult for you to remove it and okay. if you don't take a you break it okay as soon as you break the tap root you, you see you destroy the uh, yes sibling. yes okay so that is what hakim has said he said you don't even have to get the cocoa pod that is up on the tree that is one thing you may not know but on Frina farms you've got to know that you have to get the pot that is below the tree or you pick one that is in between, not at the top. And then getting your seeds, you should make sure that you do other things like the pre-germination, where you keep the seeds somewhere. And then when you see the seeds beginning to shoot, that is when you start to fill it into your rubbish. So keep note of this. Don't just fill the soil in your bags and then put in the seeds, waiting for the seeds to germinate. Now let's go back to Mr. Hakim and ask him about how he controls weeds or how somebody has to control weeds in the nursery and as whether one can face the problems of insects let's get back to mr hakim okay thank you you see how to control weeds is very important when raising cocoa seedling okay you see if you are not able to control um, the weeds well the weeds can destroy the seedlings mm. yes so here for you to control the weeds one you have to make sure um you read the baseline that is the spaces between the rubbers is called the baseline okay you have to read them and also the rubbers itself you will see that because it's a soil yeah so it is likely it produces weeds okay you can see there are some weeds on the rubbers yeah. itself because 
it contains soil that is why so okay. you have to make sure you remove them by your bare hand or you put some gloves you have to protect yourself okay. let's not forget you have to protect yourself with glove, uh, gloves before removing it with your hand so that if there is any bad animal or bad insect do not hurt you okay uh -huh. and secondly you can apply approved weedicide okay let us take note of this you can apply approved hmm. weedicide you see there are so many weedicide that is not approved okay and even though they are approved by this time around we are not allowed to use it anymore hmm. for example grammar cut power cut that is gramazone and those kind of we decide okay. they are all not allowed but you can get your landlord um you see these ones i just mentioned if you apply it takes time before the weed will start dying okay. so it means the long that it takes it will not affect the nutrients in the soil okay but if you apply gramazone and those that can come they are very sharp very fast okay they can like they destroy a lot okay so that means when we have the seedlings and we use the we decide on it the we decide we didn't kill the seedlings you see um we call something how to control risk management okay you have to take your time and then apply it carefully and wisely okay because any we decide is we decide no matter how long it takes before it starts working okay as soon as it enters the leaf of the cuckoo it will die okay so you have to apply it very wisely and then very carefully okay yes and with the insecticide as i said normally we were using um akatimasta okay. but that one is no more in the system okay they have stopped manufacturing it so the one that we are using or if you're a farmer and you want to control um your insect i would advise you to go for a master okay that one is the best as okay. soon as you use it oh your, your cocoa will be very healthy okay. it kills the insect very fast and it kills them once and for all okay. the insect will no more come and then disturb the leaves or the seedlings anymore okay so what advice will you give for farmers who wouldn't be going to cocoa board or for any organized agency for seedlings but will be planting their own seedlings for their farms what advice will you have for those farmers okay so if you're a farmer and you want to um start your own nursery you don't want to depend on any cocoa company for seedlings but you want to start your own seedling then i'll advise you to follow the instructions we have just given or the education we just gave so that if you go by it you'll be able to have your very healthy settlements for for your farm and take note of uh, what i said if you want to um do cocoa nursery or if you want to raise nursery sites make sure you do the pre gem putting or spreading the seeds on the soil before putting it in the bath is very necessary. It helps it to grow very faster with the pre-germination. Yeah. Okay, so we are thankful to Mr. Hakim for his education. As you can see, the cocoa seedlings here have grown very well. And it's going to be given to farmers for free. If you've not watched that video that we discussed about the project over here, please check this video which we are going to talk more about the free cocoa seedlings being given out and as mr hakim said you have to go by the education he has given when you want to do your own seedlings without going to cocoa board for seedlings where do you get the education from subscribe to Freenas farms you will learn more about what you have to do to get your farm growing successfully thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Freenas farms bye bye